so hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to discuss about how to crack iit bhu so iit bhu is basically a very specific exam to crack iit banaras hindu university which is very renowned for its pharmaceutics especially so those who want to get into iit bhu they can uh, get into uh, it through multiple ways first if you are gpat qualified you can sit for the entrance Again, there is CUET, uh, so they accept the CUET scores as well. So if you have qualified CUET, you can give for you can sit for IIT BHU. So these are one of uh, you, these are prerequisites for IIT BHU examinations that are very essential. So my IIT rank was All India rank seven with a score of 74 out of 100. So that is why I am here to share my experience with all of. So what is the application process? So Firstly, you need to visit the BHU website, and there you need to click on the admission tab, which is present on the home page. There, if you choose postgraduate admission, uh, postgraduate admission, you need to click on new user and register. After registration, you need to log in. So, uh, for that, you need to fill the registration form, upload all the documents, 10th, 12th mark sheets, your domicile, Aadhaar card, whatever is income certificate, whatever is necessary, EWS and all. Then you have to pay the application fees, and finally, you can. Um, and uh, pay uh, upload the self declaration and you can wait for the further process so firstly there is a call letter which acts as a first filter so suppose if, if uh, out of there are around 65000 students who give gpat only 5000 qualify so suppose out of those 5000 3000 have filled the form of iit but only 1500 will be eligible to sit for iit based upon the ranks and now those 1500 will receive the call letter so that they have to go to varanasi it is a offline exam this is very important it is a offline exam where you have omr sheet so you have to mark the response on that omr sheet uh, circle it so carry a black or a blue pen with you so it is a offline exam of around 100 questions so each question carries one mark each so that is why this exam is very important um, uh, next comes the entrance exam you go to varanasi you sit for the exam and finally after qualifying also there are so many com people in the competition there's a personal interview round or a counseling round so there you have to sit they ask you that why do you want the college or most probably you can crack this round because not much tough questions are being asked from this in this round to be very Next up we have is general aptitude pharmacy pharmaceutics pharmacology pharmacognosy and pharmaceutical chemistry so these are few of the important domains from which question appear 25 questions from pharmaceutics 25 from cology 25 from cognosy from chemistry there are 25 so around uh, you can say 20 20 questions now the uh, order has changed now there is general aptitude as well so now it is 20 20 20 each 20 from pharmaceutics 20 from cology 20 from cognosy 20 from chemistry and 20 from general aptitude so your general aptitude questions carry all verbal reasoning everything uh, aptitude so here you can see i have uploaded a video on my channel best pharmacy tips and tricks uh, these are useful for your niper these are useful for your cuet these are useful for your iit bhu so these three exam require uh, your general aptitude so what are the most possible questions that could be asked i have covered all of them there are around 18 categories of questions that are asked one is simple interest based one is um, direction based one is analogy based so there are different categories so i have categorized and given examples and solved those examples as well in this video so i hope you get to learn a lot from this so your general aptitude will be covered from the same video from speaking about your pharmacy section so in your pharmacy section these four domains you need to know the basics so chemistry mein you cannot leave name reactions cognosy mein you cannot leave biological source chemical constituent then family in pharmaceutics you need cannot leave tablets capsule parenteral aerosol suspension and emulsion they are the base and in cology you cannot leave cns cvs ans endocrine and all so cology mein you need to know the classification thoroughly so that's all for today's video i hope you all did enjoy and learn about uh, the different uh, strategies for cracking iit bhu so if you have any doubts or you want to uh, a video to be uploaded on any specific topic please feel free to drop your doubts and queries and request as well as suggestions in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you out so that's all for today's video thank you so much everybody